Yeah. Was just like, hi, hook up. No, there was no <laughs> open then too. Come on. Yeah, yeah but, but no, we were in a taxi. It was that's why they're together now. No, that's yeah. right. He yeah. couldn't like put his arm around because Aww. he was in the band. He thought like I would get mad. Right. Yeah. And I thought, you know, I'm too like, mad with this guy. Yeah. Aww. I guess like, no, <laughs> that's so cool. No, remember, at um, one night we were out <laughs> hanging out, seeing a band, and I just thought he didn't like my type because there was this big, tall, buxom, he beautiful was, blonde, and he went, I would chop my right arm off for her. So I was like, All right, I'm not his type. <laughs> oh, that was oh, oh, me, Sal. That was right. very smooth. <laughs> well, I would have felt for you really right there. Wow. Well, oh, okay. I don't look know what happened. happened. <laughs> right. And we saw the ladies' room and like went, what did you do? What was that coming? So where did it go from there? We were just married. Yeah, exactly. So I guess I guess he wanted to keep his arm. Yeah, I guess that. Yeah, that would have just been too much. Yeah, exactly. So so musically, how long? And what were you doing? And like, what happened with that MCA? You know what happens in the music industry? Yeah. Everybody becomes yeah. a star. That's why we need to have the 15 minutes of fame here. Because it's important to right. celebrate right. stars and living with. Yeah. But it's important to, because everybody, well, this show is kind of based on a Marilyn Monroe quote, which is everybody is a star and deserves their right to shine. Well, I and truly believe that. I believe that too. Just because you might sell a lot of records, it doesn't mean you're better or worse than someone else who didn't. You well, know? I mean, there are people in the subway that kill me. Oh my God! The I new mean, thing. Have you seen these kids that like do the dance? Yes. And they, I've been taking every train they're on. Right. Uh, they, they're amazing. They're really they do pole dancing in the subway. Yeah. Uh, it's mm -hmm. like I think yeah. it's as exciting as anything. Me too. That you see or hear anywhere. That's it. that stuff is when they come on. I'm like, yes. Me too. Me too. Yeah. So I want to thank you, Rue, because you really do give everybody a, ch a chance. You know, just to have their 15 minutes. I think I'm on like by 250 minutes. Right. So you have exceeded. I like yeah. repeat offenders. That's yeah, like I a. I don't like Because you really have an outlet for everybody, you know, to show their better part and be creative. Yeah, and, uh, a lot. Most people, you know, have a passion and it's important. So talk about what you're doing oh, now. Okay, well, I'm, all right, right or now. Or whatever. Right. Um, but right now, uh, I'm going to just go back. Okay, second. go back. So Sal and I then in, in the early 80s started a band called Velveteen. Oh, oh yeah. Which uh, now uh, connects uh, me. Uh, we're all connecting her. That connects cool. me to Michael. Who See, did not connect the dots even from Facebook? I love you guys. It's amazing. It was and pretty amazing. Nice to have them on. Now, okay. did it have anything to do with the rabbit? No. Okay. And I actually, people used to ask me that yeah, all the time. Sure. So and then later you I read the book. Michael Zuko? Huh? You no, played no, no, it was just, no, it was just he was a audience. fan. He was in the oh, audience okay. and we were like a TV band and we did other away. things. And yeah. we made a, um, a record for Atlantic during, you know, wow, 80s. So you had a lot of experience. And then, you know, lots of other stuff. But right now, currently, 